Hi guys and welcome to the next video of this entire series. In this particular video, I will be discussing what is domain keys identified mail or DKIM. In the last session, we discussed what is SPF record and how does SPF helps organizations to prevent from receiving spoof and spam emails. In this particular session, I will be discussing what is DKIM and how does it work. And I will be showing you how you can enable DKIM record for your domains. If we go by definition, DKIM is an email security standard which is designed to make sure that emails are not altered during transmission between source to destination. As soon as an email is sent from the sending server, DKIM signs that email using a private key. But the question arises, how exactly DKIM does this? In last session, we discussed if emails are forwarded to external users, SPF gets fail. Because when email will be forwarded, the return path value will change and the SPF check will be performed against the domain who has forwarded that particular email. But DKIM adds digital signatures within the email header. And even if email is forwarded to a different organization, the signatures will be preserved within the email header. To enable DKIM for a domain, we add two CNAME records in our public DNS. These CNAME records are used as a public key by the recipient email servers to verify if the email's body hasn't changed during the transmission. Once the signatures are verified by the recipient email server, DKIM will pass and the email is treated as authentic email. Now let's understand how DKIM works and how it signs emails with digital signatures. Let's assume that we have two organizations, abc.com and xyz.com. And abc.com organization has added DKIM records in their public DNS. When an organization enables DKIM for their domains, the private key is securely stored on Microsoft servers. And all the emails, sent from that particular organization are digitally signed using this private key. When abc.com organization will send an email during this process, this email will be digitally signed by DKIM signatures. When xyz.com email server will receive this email, the recipient server will extract DKIM signatures from the email header and will reach public DNS. XYZ.com email server will ask DNS for the public key which is published by ABC.com domain. Once recipient server has the public key, the recipient server will validate the email using the public key. If the email validation is successful, DKIM will pass. And if email was altered during transmission, DKIM will fail. Now let's understand how we can create DKIM records. This is the syntax of DKIM records. Before we create a DKIM record, we should be aware of the MX value for the domain you want to enable DKIM. And the second value that we need is Office 365 initial domain name. For this demo, I will be enabling DKIM for office365concepts.com domain. So for this domain, MX record value is office365concepts-com.mail.protection.outlook.com. And the initial domain for my tenant is 365conceptslabs.onmicrosoft.com. To create DKIM record, we will replace domain grid with the domain name as it is showing in MX record. For example, office365concepts-com. And initial domain will be replaced with your initial domain name, which ends with .onmicrosoft.com. Once you have these DKIM values, you are ready to add them within your public DNS. When you publish DKIM records in your public DNS and when DKIM is enabled for your domain, all of the outgoing emails will be digitally signed using the private key. If you analyze an email header, you will see a value similar to this. A typical DKIM signature looks like this. 
these header values are added within the email when your outgoing emails are digitally signed with DKIM private key. Now let's break this header and let's understand what these values mean. DKIM dash signature indicates that the email is digitally signed using DKIM private key. V equal one indicates the version of DKIM being used by the server that has sent this particular email. R equal RSA dash SHA256 indicates the algorithm which is used to sign this particular email. There are two supported signature algorithms to sign emails RSA dash SHA1 and RSA dash SHA256. D equal indicates the domain name that has signed this particular email. S equal selector one indicates the name of the selector that will be used by the recipient server to validate this particular email. The next values that we can see within this signature from date, subject, message ID and MIME version. These are the headers that were included within the email when this email was digitally signed. So guys, now let's understand how we can enable DKIM record for our domains in Office 365. For this demo, I will be enabling DKIM record for Office 365 concepts.com domain. And to enable this, I will switch to the domain provider website. Under DNS management for Office 365 concepts.com, I will be adding two CNAME records. The type of the record will be CNAME and the host will be selector one dot underscore domain key. I have copied these values in a notepad. So this is the syntax of DKM record that I have replaced with the domain name, which is reflecting in the MX record. And this is my initial domain. So I'm going to copy this value. And I will paste it here and then click save. In the same way, we will create one more CNAME record. Domain type will be CNAME. And this time selector will be selected to underscore. Domain key and the value will be the one that we have copied. Selector to dash your domain name and then initial domain and click save. When you add DNS records, wait for one or two minutes so that these records can be replicated. Once we have added DKIM records in public DNS and when these records are published, after that we can check DKIM signing configuration with the help of PowerShell commands. And for that we will run get hyphen DKIM signing config hyphen identity and then we will type the name of our domain and pyperfil. With the help of this command, we can check the configuration settings of DKM record for a particular domain. Selector one key size is the bit size of the key which will be used to sign the digital signatures on a particular email. If for any reason this key size shows 1024, in that case, you would need to increase it to 2048 bit because 1024 key is less secure than 2048. These are the digital signatures which will be stamped on your emails, which will be sent from your organization. The algorithm which will be used to sign the emails that will be RSA SHA256. To increase the key size from 1024 to 2048, we will be running rotate hyphen DKIM signing config hyphen key size 2048 hyphen identity and within identity, we will copy this grid value and we'll paste here. With, with the help of this command, you can increase the key size for a particular DKM signing configuration. If I press enter, I may receive an error because this is already showing 2048. So by running this command, 
you can increase the bit size of the encryption key, which will be used within DKIM signing configuration. Now let's recap what we have covered in this particular session. Domain keys identified mail is an email security standard which is designed to make sure that emails are not altered during the transmission from source to destination. As soon as you send an email, DKIM uses public key cryptography to sign that email with a private key. DKIM signatures are preserved within the email even if emails are forwarded to other organizations. DKIM only signs the emails digitally. It doesn't encrypt email contents. If your requirement is to encrypt email contents, then you should use Office 365 email encryption or OME. In this particular session, we have discussed what is domain keys identified mail or DKIM and how does it work. And I have shown you how you can enable DKIM for your domains. In the next session, I will be discussing what is DMARC and how does DMARC work. And I will be showing you how we can set up DMARC records for your domains in Office 365. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.